two ways to immobilize their prey. There are those who circle the body of their prey until they run out of breath. There are also those who emit venom to paralyze their prey. The venom of the snake was produced in its mouth. However, what happens when a venomous snake bites itself? Does it injure or even kill the snake? Snake venom is a liquid that only venomous snakes have, which is produced in the salivary glands. Venom snakes function to make prey immobile or paralyzed, as well as to help the snake's digestive process. More than 90% of snake venom is nothing but protein. In addition to protein, snake venom also contains carbohydrates and other ingredients that are broken down in a short time, thus helping the snake's digestive process. Another ingredient in snake venom is polypeptide, which causes cell function to be disrupted, which can lead to death. For some types of venomous snakes, there are more sinister proteolytic enzymes. Proteolytic enzymes can increase the absorption of venom in the blood vessels, thereby triggering edema, blisters and tissue death in the bitten part of the body. The most common way for venomous snakes to inject venom into their prey's body is through their fangs. The snake's sharp and hollow fangs can inject and direct venom into the wound. However, there are also snakes that inject venom by spitting on their prey. Usually, this method is a form of self-defense from enemies, rather than a form of attacking prey. This snake's venom comes from the venom gland on its head, at the back of the throat to be precise. Venom glands are places where venom is made and stored. Then, there are muscles in the snake's head that regulate the level of venom injected into the prey it bites. Even though it's located in the salivary glands, the snake will not get sick even if it swallows its own venom. This is because the main ingredient of snake venom is protein. Venom protein can only injure if it's injected or absorbed into body tissues or the bloodstream. Therefore, snake venom isn't dangerous if swallowed by a snake, it even helps the digestive process. Even so, snakes have an antidote to the venom they produce. It causes snakes to have immunity to the venom they create to protect if it gets into their own blood. However, these immune cells can only protect against small amounts of venom, so snakes can become very sick or die if large amounts of venom or other types of venom are bitten by other snakes. So, it is possible for a snake to die from its own bite, which contains venom, if the venom enters the bloodstream or body tissues in a certain amount.